So I'm Lisa and I had an eyebrow procedure just over a year ago, a year and three or four months ago, and I'm very pleased. Um, building up to that, I had overplucked my eyebrows so drastically that I just really didn't, I almost didn't have eyebrows. And it was a source of embarrassment to me. I mean, I put, I used makeup that, it looked okay, but I had to be very careful. So I was always worried about spending the night over somewhere because, oh, I have to have all my makeup or going to the sauna at the gym. Oh no, I can't do that. It'll all run off. Uh, anyway, so it had been a source of discomfort, embarrassment for me for years, in fact, but I had a busy life and whatever. So I finally hit a point where I thought, oh, it's t this exists, a procedure exists to transplant eyebrows. Oh, well, let's look into this. And I really looked into it for only a very short time because once the opportunity, things in my life came together and the opportunity presented itself and I jumped on it. So I found this clinic online and I compared with other clinics that I found online. I called several, I talked to the people and I wound up here. Um, I had to fly into town. Um, what? I, I was greeted with a lot of open heartedness and that really helped a lot because I was very nervous about this because as I say, it's been a source of concern for me for years now. So I thought, how's this going to go? Uh, but I was very reassured also by just the kindness and the warmth th that I was greeted with. And then the competence that was clearly present. So I had the procedure. Uh, it's true that uh, I don't really have much of a memory of that procedure. Um, everything went well. I stayed in a neighboring hotel or mm -hmm. motel and I don't know, it lasted whatever it lasted. I, tr I, and I guess that's thanks to some of the drugs that one doesn't remember a whole lot about that, but everything went very smoothly um, according to everything that had been described to me. Um, I went back to the hotel. I don't remember the procedure exactly, but there was something about coming back 12 hours later for another checkup or something. And then after that, I got on the plane and went back home. So I had several hours of travel time. I think it was one day after. I don't think it was even two days later. And I felt uncomfortable, but I wore my dark glasses <laughs> and I didn't feel worse than uncomfortable. So I was thinking at the time, I was thinking, oh God, I should have stayed there a couple of days. But the fact is I'm not sure I should have because there is bruising associated with the procedure and some some discomfort but the plane trip didn't didn't bother it didn't bother me it was just being in proximity to other people and feeling embarrassed as i already had for years now about my eyebrows but okay my glasses hid that and i got home and i spent a week more or less on my own um let's see i think so it takes when you first the eyebrows are in and i was I was shocked because my hair is naturally very dark and I had been used to not having much in the way of eyebrows so that I had very dark eyebrows all of a sudden and that scared me <laughs> that oh no that's <laughs> too much but that was also just the the after effects of the procedure so that calmed down it took a while to calm down and then the hair started falling out so which at which point I thought oh no I just started getting used to having eyebrows and now I'm losing them again but the fact is it meant that I got back to the point that I had been before. And my daughter even said, what are you complaining about? This, just put on the makeup the way you did before. Psh, you've just got the same eyebrows that you did before. Don't, don't worry about it. She was right. So, okay. And then they, then they grew back in. And it felt like a natural segue into having eyebrows again. They weren't nearly as dark. Or they weren't, I guess I was still a bit shocked. <laughs> they were darker than what I was used to having. And I did, there... I mean, they're, they're not perfect. I, I use, okay, so now, this over a year later, um, but there, are, there are sparse spots. They're not perfect. They're not perfectly matched, and I, I kind of like that. I don't want them to be 
mirror images of each other, but there, there, are, there are sparse spots. And I use an eyebrow pencil in the morning, but right now I don't have eyebrow pencil on. So even when I don't use eyebrow pencil, I feel like I can go out. I can go have a sauna and sweat and it's just okay. And I can, I can be surprised in the middle of the night by burglars and I've got my eyebrow. I don't know. It's just, I just feel, I really do have a confidence about my looks that I didn't have before. And I use more eye makeup because I feel like I can. I have eyebrows that can now stand up to that. Or anyway, I, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this procedure, having done this. And as I say, I just, I had spent years building up to it. So when the opportunity presented itself, I jumped on it. I'm really glad I did. So, oh yes, okay. There was one thing that, that we, I needed to mention after the procedure. The, where the hair had been taken from the back of my head was more tender than what I had expected. That tenderness lasted a while. I, I would say even on the order of weeks. But then it healed and that was the end of it and okay. So anyway, it's, it's like any procedure. There is some healing to be done. But I'm really glad I did this. So I encourage you, if you're in a like, similar position, to take the bull by the horns and, and jump in. It's, it's worth it. <laughs>